Today's lesson is about slopes and y-intercepts. We're going to define what a slope is. We're going to define what a y-intercept is. We're going to graph equations with slopes and intercepts. And we're going to talk about two specific equations that we can use to identify slopes and intercepts. Let's get started. So first of all, what is a slope? Well, a slope is a ratio, which can be written as a fraction, of vertical change to horizontal change between two points on a coordinate plane. So remember, vertical means up and down. Horizontal means side to side. If we can find the change in those two directions, we can create a slope. So let's take a look at an example here. Okay, I have a blank coordinate plane. I'm going to plot two points on this coordinate plane. The first point I'm going to plot is the point 2, 3. So I went right 2, up 3, put a dot. The second point that I'm going to use for this example is 4, 6. So if I go right 4 and up 6, I can plot that point 4, 6. And now, since I have two points, I can find the vertical change and the horizontal change of these two points and create a ratio or a fraction that represents the slope. So let's take a look at the vertical change first. Vertical is up and down. And right now, that dot going up is at level 3. It's at y equals 3. If it goes up three spaces to 6, that's the level that the second dot is on. So the vertical change, and we call that the rise uh, very often, is called uh, is, is positive 3. So now let's look at the horizontal change. The horizontal change, if I slide over two spaces from where I am right now, I uh, run into that point 4, 6. So the horizontal change, which we often call a run, is positive 2. So if I make a ratio out of those two values, I can find that the slope uh, of those two ordered pairs is 3 over 2 or 3 halves or 3 to 2, whichever way you choose to say your ratio. Uh, so there's another way to find ratios or to find um, slopes also, and I'm going to show you that now. So we can also find the slope by taking the change in the y coordinates or the y values over the change uh, in the x coordinates or the x values. So if I do that, I'm going to write subtraction problems. The change of the y coordinates is 6 minus 3, so the change is 3. For the x-coordinates, the change would be 4 and 2, so 4 minus 2. And you can see that you still find the same slope when you calculate the slope that way. So the slope of those two points would be 3 over 2. One last thing about slope is that uh, slope is usually identified with a specific variable in equations, and that variable is m. So uh, one way to, uh, to uh, show slope is to say that m equals 3 over 2 or 3 halves. So we're going to look at some equations later. Uh, when you see the, val the variable m in those equations, that means that that variable represents what the slope will be in the equation, or if there's already a number there, what the slope is. So take a second, hit pause, and try to practice this. Try to find the slope uh, that is generated from those two ordered pairs, uh, and then when you're done, you can unpause and see if you calculated the correct slope. Okay, so you can see here the slope uh, is 5 over 1 or 5 because the rise uh, or the vertical change is positive 5 and the run or the horizontal change is positive 1. So make a ratio out of those, you get 5 to 1 and the ratio 5 to 1 can be written just as 5. So in this uh, example, m or the slope equals 5. The other way to find that is to do your subtracting with your y-coordinates and x-coordinates. So you can see the y-coordinates are 8 and 3, so if I do 8 minus 3, I get 5 on top. The x-coordinates are 7 and 6, so 7 minus 6 is 1. And that gives you the same slope that you would have gotten if you just counted the rise and the run on the graph. Okay, so now some specific examples with some equations here. So we're going to look at the equation y equals mx first. So uh, Let's break that equation apart and talk about its, uh, its variables to begin. The m we just talked about is slope. So uh, if there is a number in as the coefficient for x, that is going to represent the slope, or m. x and y are just the ordered pairs that you can use uh, that fall on the line of that equation when it's graphed or when we make an x-y table. So what we want to do is we want to graph this equation, y equals 2x, in the example, and show uh, that its slope is 2 because 2 is where m is in the equation, so the slope should be 2. And we also want to talk about how equations written in this form always pass through the origin of a coordinate plane, which is 0, 0, and that they're proportional. 
And I'll explain more about what the proportional thing is in a minute. But let's get started with trying to graph this. So to begin graphing this, we need to make an xy table. And we're going to put in some values for x and then calculate what y is, and that's going to give us some ordered pairs. So uh, I'm just going to use the numbers 0 through 4 because they're easy numbers. They're small. They are easy to calculate. So we're going to use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to uh, uh, evaluate and solve for what y is for each of those, and then we're going to plot them on a coordinate plane. So let's start with 0. If I substitute 0 into the equation y equals 2x, uh, it's going to say y equals 2 times 0, and 2 times 0 is 0. If I do the same thing with 1, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 times 1, which is 2. If I substitute 2 in for x, y equals 2 times 2, which is 4. If I substitute 3 in for x, y equals 2 times 3, which is 6. And if I substitute 4 in for x, y equals 2 times 4, which is 8. So I have my ordered pairs. So one thing I want you to notice about the ordered pairs is that they all have a multiplicative relationship, which means I can get from x to y in each of these ordered pairs by multiplying by 2. That shows you that these ratios that we're going to create with the ordered pairs are proportional, and that the graph's going to pass through 0, 0, like we can see 0, 0 is one of our ordered pairs. Uh, and I'm going to show you the proportional by writing the ordered pairs as y over x fractions. Take a look at the fractions that are written here. Uh, 2 over 1, 4 over 2, 6 over 3, 8 over 4. Those fractions or ratios, they are all equal to each other. So if I simplified every ratio here, they would all simplify down to 2 over 1. Okay? So when the equation is written in the form y equals mx, all of the ordered pairs are going to be proportional. Let's take a look at what this uh, is going to show us on the graph or how it looks on the graph. So I have my ordered pairs that we just calculated. Uh, 0, 0 is the origin, so I'm going to save that for last. Uh, I'm going to start by plotting the ordered pair 1, 2 by going over 1 to the right and up 2. And then I can either use the slope or I can just plot the next point as if it was the first point I'm plotting. I can go over to the right 2 and up 4. But I can also use the slope of 2 to go up 2 for the rise, uh, right 1 for the run. And that lands me at the same spot that I would have plotted if I didn't do it that way. I can go uh, rise 2 and run 1 again, and that takes me to 3, 6, which is my third ordered pair. And then my fourth ordered pair, 4, 8, same thing. I can use the slope to help get there. Um, I also could have just went right 4 and up 8 and plotted it that way too. Uh, so I'm going to draw a line through all of these uh, points that I plotted. You can see that line goes through 0, 0, which is the first ordered pair that we found in our xy table. And uh, that is the graph for the equation y equals 2x. So this confirms, based on the rise and run I just showed you, the slope is also 2 over 1, and it matches with the y equals 2x, where 2 is m, and m is the slope. Uh, so everything kind of comes together here. All right? So I want you to try one on your own. The equation y equals 3x uh, is in the practice uh, example here, and I want you to uh, fill out your uh, table of values, your xy table, figure out what y is when x is 0 through 4. Uh, fill in the slope in the m equals blank, and then graph your equation and see what you get. And see if you get a, a proportional uh, line with a slope of 3, which the rise is 3 and the run is 1. Okay? So hit pause, try that, and then when you're done, you can check your answer. Okay, here's the answer. So I substituted in 0 for x, and I got 0 for y. When I substitute 1 in for x, I get 3. So you can see the table there. Uh, so I substituted the x values in for x, and I calculated the y values. I uh, plotted those points on the graph, and it looks like it makes a straight line, which it needs to. It passes through the origin, which it needs to. And uh, the rise for each of these uh, jumps from point to point is the rise is 3, the run is 1, rise is 3, run is 1, rise is 3, run is 1. It works for each time, so that means the slope is, ma is matching the slope uh, of m in the equation. Okay? So we have one more equation to look at today. That equation is y equals x plus b. Uh, b stands for something different in this equation. B stands for the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is just the location on the graph where the line that we draw for the equation passes through the y-axis. So this equation that we have here, y equals x plus 4, should pass through the y-axis at positive 4. Uh, and we're going to see if it does. The slope, there is no slope, there is no m here. 
Uh, hopefully you remember from studying uh, expressions that uh, if there is no coefficient next to a variable, we assume that coefficient is 1. So we're going to check, but the slope of the line when we graph it should be 1. So let's see what happens. Let's get our xy table and find our values first. Uh, I'm going to substitute in 0 for x and 1, 2, 3, 4 for x and calculate the y values. So when x is 0, y is 4. When x is 1, y is 5. When x is 2, y is 6. When x is 3, y is 7. And when x is 4, y is 8. So I have my values. These values are not proportional. And I'm going to show you why right now. Uh, it's because the relationship between x and y is additive and not multiplicative. When the relationship is additive, you do not have proportional ratios. So let's take a look and see what the ratios are. If I write y over x for each ordered pair, so the 5 and the 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, and 4, 8, none of these fractions or ratios are equal to each other. So it's not proportional. Um, and it's, that also means that it probably, unless the y-intercept is 0, will not pass through the origin either. Since the y-intercept in this equation is supposed to be 4, it should not pass through the origin. Okay? So let's graph and double check. <clears throat> if I uh, plot my first point in 0, 4, that means uh, go to the right 0 and go up 4. So that's my first point. 1, 5 is right 1 and up 5. The third one is right 2 and up 6. The fourth one is right 3 and up 7. And the last one is right 4 and up 8. So they make a straight line, which it should. I'm going to connect those dots or those points to make the line. And my y-intercept matches what we thought it was going to be. Uh, the y-intercept is right here. It's where the line passes through the y-axis, and it passes through at positive 4, which is what it was supposed to be in the equation x plus 4. So that matches. Uh, the other thing that matches is the slope, if you take a look. Uh, so let me uh, just verify this. Yeah, the graph confirms the y-intercept of positive 4, so b equals 4. If you look at the slope, the rise and the run is up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. So that would be a slope of 1 over 1, which equals 1. So that matches also. So Again, if you do not see a slope in an equation that's written in this form, y equals x plus b, uh, you assume the slope is 1. If there is a number next to x, a coefficient next to x, then that would be the slope. But in this case, the slope is 1. Okay? So try practicing. I want you to use the equation here, y equals x plus 5, to complete the xy table, to identify the slope and the intercept, and then confirm the slope and the intercept on the graph. So by graphing the uh, points and, and making a line. So hit pause and try that. When you're done, you can check to see how you did. Okay? So here's the uh, solution to this, or the, all the work. The slope is 1 because there's no coefficient next to x. And you can see the rise and the run would be 1 over 1 for these uh, ordered pairs. The y-intercept is 5, so that matches b in the equation, y equals x plus 5. And my uh, table of values, my xy table, is filled out correctly here with an additive relationship that would not be proportional. Okay? So those were slope basics. Those were, uh, this was the introduction to y-intercepts also. So hopefully this is helpful for you. You can rewatch if you need to. Uh, otherwise, uh, I will see you next time.